Please rise for the bride. be seated. We who are gathered here are now privileged to witness and to participate in the ceremony celebrating the love which Justin and Melissa have for each other, knowing that by our presence here with them, we are saying that they together are loved by many others. Who gives this woman to be wedded to this man? There are many special people who are unable to be here with us today. Let us call them forward in our hearts and remember them at this time as we invite the presence of God to this place to bless this occasion and this union. Let us join in prayer. Heavenly Father, bless this man and this woman who make these vows before you. Grant that this be a true spiritual union a rich and full blending of hearts, souls, and purposes. Bless them each with the inner gifts of trust, compassion, forgiveness, and truth, that they may live and grow together in your love and peace. We give you thanks for Missy and Justin for the example of love they embody in our midst. And in gratitude we say, amen. Missy and Justin, marriage is a supreme sharing. It is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure in the most intimate of human relationships. It is the joyful union of two people whose friendship and mutual understanding have flowered into romance. Today, you proclaim your love and commitment to the world, and we are gathered here with you to rejoice in this new life you undertake together. As you take the vows of marriage, I remind you to treat yourselves and each other with respect. Remind yourselves often of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your marriage deserves. And if each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and delight. The union into which you are about to enter is the closest and most tender into which human beings can come. It is a union founded upon mutual respect and affection. Your paths will be parallel, your responsibilities will increase, but your joys will be multiplied if you are sincere and earnest with each other. Justin, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, and forsaking all others, keep you only unto her for as long as you both shall live. If so, respond, I will. Melissa, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, and forsaking all others, keep you only unto him for as long as you both shall live? If so, respond, I will. I will. will everyone please rise? A marriage needs the support of a community. Please acknowledge your support and loyalty to this couple by affirming with your response, we will. Will you, Melissa and Justin's family and friends, promise to support them in their marriage, loving them and encouraging their love for each other? If so, respond, we will. We will. You may be seated. The wedding ring is the sim symbol of wholeness, perfection, and peace. May you be blessed throughout your devotion to your union. 
May your journey as husband and wife be filled with peace, love, and joy. We bless these rings and those who will wear them that they will be a beautiful and true reminder of this bond of trust and faithfulness made manifest by these vows. Amen. Justin, take the ring from Melissa. Place it on her finger. I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Place it on his finger. I give you this ring as a sign of my vow, and with all that I am, and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Justin and Melissa, you could not have chosen a more sacred or majestic place for your wedding. This is the place where the earth, the sea, and the sky meet in beauty and wonder. Here these elements are joined to remind us of the power and majesty of creation. In marriage, we also find the coming together of elements, not just a man and woman, but their families, their friends, and the lives that they have lived separately that are now joined as one. And just as the seashore, this place of beauty and serenity, can know some tumultuous times, so in marriage there will be some challenging days. But love has the power to overcome all things. So in times of difficulty, allow the power of your love to bring you back to each other, just as the sea returns to the shore. I'm going to step over now to the end of the same thing. Today, Melissa and Justin have chosen to commemorate their marriage through the celebration of the sand ceremony. The ceremony symbolizes their vow of inseparable union. And just as the grains of sand can never be separated again into individual containers, so may your marriage be one of continual union. May these two find happiness in their union. May they live faithfully together, executing the vows they have made between them. May they ever remain compassionate and encouraging that their years may be rich with the joys of life and their days long upon the earth. And if you'll take one step closer to me. And now for as much as you, Justin, and you, Melissa, have indicated your desire to be united in marriage, and before God and your family and friends, you have pledged your love to each other and confirm the same by giving and receiving your <coughs> rings by the authority of the laws of the state of North Carolina. It is my honor and my delight to pronounce that you are husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>